Okay, here we go again. Gonna do another pouring. Um, making sure my canvas is level, which it is. That's good. Um, I'm using again Phthalo Blue, which is a color you're familiar with me. Cranberry. This is called King's Gold. I hope you can see it in the picture there. It is sort of mustardy color. And then there's some metallic gold. They're very close in color. There's the metallic and the king's gold. So I've leveled my canvas and this is gonna be my cup I'm gonna to use to pour. And while I'm sitting here, I have to put my gloves on. So that'll be exciting for you to experience with me. The other thing is I was told that I need to be funnier. So, and this was a suggestion since you get to see my hairy knobby knees, I'm going to make smiley faces and hopefully at the end of this project, they will both be just as happy. And you can um, thank Anne for that. Okay. So get my glove on. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pour a base coat of white and I'm going to move it around or spread it around as needed and then I'm going to add the paint. Um, I'm going to put again some silicone but it's coconut milk hair serum. I don't know where people figure this stuff out but some of the stuff works pretty well. So again just our standard white. And I want to save some of this for my pouring. So I'm just going to move it around, hopefully fill up the canvas with it. It's probably better if I smooth it around. It just makes life easier when you have um, some white or any color actually probably as a background. Um, the other thing too is, is this sort of self levels itself, this um, pouring medium. So like when my paintings sit here for a while, they level off. That's why I think sometimes um, other cells pop up. I'm assuming I'm going to need more gloves because when I have to flip this, I'm going to get it all over my hands. So, put that aside, wipe off my hands, and just sort of move it around a little bit. Probably can't see it that much from that angle, but I'm just trying to... Get this to level off and smooth out. Almost there. Okay. I think that'll do it for now. I am going to um, just fire it up a second to make sure, boy, I'm making a mess here. Um, got my garbage bag. To make sure that I get any bubbles out from underneath. I don't want any bubbles to um, come out in the middle of this, which might ruin some of the cell formation. Okay, so.
It's actually working today. So bear with me. And I'm going to use have my cup here. Go through a lot of paper towels doing this, that's for sure. I'm just going to put this here to start my pouring. So first I'm going to do a little bit of white on the bottom of the cup. And then I'm going to do some of the phthalo blue. And then we're going to do some of this hair serum. Ooh, that was a lot. Um, and then the king's gold. And then we're going to do some cranberry. Then back to the blue. Can add some more silicone, but just a tinier drop this time. There we go. We're gonna just do blue. So again, I'm gonna put a little bit more white. And then we're going to use the metallic gold. Probably going to use most of the metallic gold. Okay. And then back to the cranberry. I'm going to finish off the cranberry, or at least most of it. Okay. Get these out of the way. And then, of course, the blue. Another just a teeny shot of silicone. I think two got in there. The king's gold. top it off with some white. So once again, fill to the top. Looks like a dessert or something. Okay. So here comes the most nerve wracking part for me, where I probably will make the biggest mess. A little bit of a mess. Okay. Oh. So I'm going to let it sit there for a second. I'm not going to um, fire it up this time until I'm done. I want to see what cells come out and how they look. So, without much further ado, As you can see, there are quite a few cells coming up on their own. I knew there'd be a lot of that red. I can't seem to make red my happy color. But these are some of the cells I'm talking about that I'm trying to create more of. So 
So we can sit here and watch it for a minute or two, see what comes up. I don't want to fire until I'm done, so I'm going to do something different today and leave it alone. So we're just going to slowly move it around, see what happens. There we go. See some of the cells coming up on their own. Oh, that's pretty awesome. The only problem I'd say it is I probably squirt too much at the beginning, but that's okay. So what I'm doing is I'm tilting and then I'm moving it back to the center. So I don't want to overstretch some of these cells out, but at the same time, um, they're quite fascinating. Kind of looks outer spacey. Just put this down for a second. I have to say that's kind of interesting. Sometimes it's like I just need to stop or afraid I'm gonna mess it all up. So I'm gonna stop. And I know my, cult, my corners aren't completely covered, but that's okay by me today. I kind of like the little white on the edge. Okay. okay. 
Interesting. I actually like that. Again. Oh no. It just dripped some paint. Uh, it'll probably spread out. This is the problem. Or my biggest nightmare. Let's just take these off. It's right there. I dropped it off. But maybe it looked like it's a cell. So maybe nobody will notice except I pointed it out to you. So... I got what I wanted. Those are big cells. And I don't have this working. So I'm finally getting it down to the way I like my paintings. And most of these have been experiments. And I wish you could see some of these cells up close. They're actually pretty cool. See all the, the cells coming on, up within the cells. As this continues to settle, there are probably going to be more cells popping up. Um, so I'm just going to let it go for now and congratulate myself. I'm thinking that at least I accomplished something that I wanted to accomplish more of. Let's get all this drip off the bottom because some of those cells are on the bottom around the sides and I don't want them necessarily to pull off the bottom. That's why leveling is really important, making sure your canvas is level before you start. Okay, I think I learned a lesson in a good way and I think we're done. Say goodbye smiley faces, I can see them. <laughs>